I decided to use Adobe Atmos because my composition is just storytelling based. So I wish my listeners feel that they are sitting in the music, not just like a stereo music. So they can feel the orchestra and choir closer. This was actually my first time using Adobe Atmos. I had an experience uh, mixing post-production in Atmos, but the music-wise, this was the first time. Initially, I was thinking maybe it's very complicating because you have a lot of options to handle, but then I realized that it's quite simpler and easier than I thought, and that it gives you more like options to control as well. Using the Pro Tools and then the Adobe Atmos renderer actually give you some like uh, boxes. This box give you the more like visual so you can actually see it and then the, that's where you can hear from. Now the Pro Tools can connect to the Adobe Atmos renderer which means actually you can do everything in the Pro Tools and then all the signals send to the Adobe renderer so Adobe renderer is actually finalized and then master the Atmos sound to the like binaural headphones so audience also can experience the same thing I wear in the studio with their own headphones as well Using S6 console was much easier than actually I mix uh, with the headphones is because once you open the session at Pro Tools and then this console connected automatically. You can see all the tracks and whatever you have and on the board and you can touch physically like a knob and then the faders so it's much easier and simpler to control around. I'm so happy with my final product and hopefully you guys can hear the same thing I experienced with your headphones.